everyone so it's been a little bit since I last posted my video and there are a couple reasons why I have been a little bit absent I have wanted to film videos I've just been very very exhausted and overwhelmed partly because of this little guy right here um, I'll talk about him a little bit and a little bit because of my room situation which I will explain later on um, but a lot of you know that I got a puppy last week on the 17th of June and okay he wants to go play on the bed so I'll let him anyways I got a puppy on the 17th of June and a lot of people are like why would you get another puppy you already have two dogs and really that's all I wanted for a really really long time all I really wanted was a puppy I have two dogs yeah um Chase and Coco who I both adore or whom I both adore but they are big dogs I don't have a dog that I can like cuddle with or sleep with and I don't have a dog that you know like I train myself so I've been asking and asking and asking my parents for years to get me a puppy and we babysat my sister's best friend and uh, my friend Jana and Juliana's dog and Mario's dog and Luana's dog, their whole family's dog, um, for a couple of weeks last year. And like it was really good. I really loved it. I loved having this little thing and this little soul that I could, you know, take care of and everything. And I just really wanted a puppy for a really, really long time. And when I was 12 years old, my dad, because when I was 12, let me tell you, I thought 16, golden year. I thought, you know, I'd be like the plastics and mean girls. I thought, you know, I'd be, you know, walking down the halls and milkshake with somebody playing. You know, I thought once you turn 16, like your life is magically going to be amazing. So for six, for my 16th birthday, I was like, I'm going to get a puppy and I'm going to get a car and blah, blah, blah. And now in Quebec, you can't get a, you can't drive until after 16 so there's no point in getting a car now but I got a puppy and so my dad promised me when I was 12 years old that I could get a puppy or the summer I was going into high school he promised me I could get a puppy and I'm graduating next year so it's been like a while you know and so on my old computer on my HP computer I had a little countdown and at that time in my life I really wanted a Yorkie puppy that's all I wanted a Yorkie puppy um I don't know where I saw this dog, but that's the dog I wanted. That's the only dog that I wanted for me, Yorkie Puppy. The little countdown was Yorkie Puppy, 600, however many days that were there. My nose is itchy, I have allergies. Um, but I recently became really, really obsessed with Pomeranians. So lo and behold, um, fate stepped in and a Pomeranian became available. And as soon as he was put into my arms, he started licking me and loving me and just like sat in my arms. And he had just such a good temperament. And right away, I was like, Mom, like, please. And I know when she held him, it was like instant. I knew that he was going to be coming home with us. So I went on the Monday of my second week of exams, which I did stellar on my exams, FYI. Thanks for your kind words and encouragement. But on Monday of my second week of exams, um, we went and saw him. We put a deposit and everything. And then... I had to wait until Friday and that was like the longest week and I had tutoring and I had this and if you have me on my personal Facebook you know I it was my profile picture like I just adored this dog and so we went on the 17th of June to go pick him up right after my math exam which I did really good on I'm very pleased about that and um, we went right after my exam and we picked him up he is being stubborn Bentley hey sugar <sighs> come see mom Come see mom. Bentley, I swear to God. I'm gonna get the paper. I'm gonna get the paper. So I want to introduce you to the love of my life currently, and his name is Bentley. Insert my last name. He is a little. He is a Pomeranian, and he is like a honey blonde color, and he is three point eight pounds, almost four pounds, and he is three months old. Uh, no, four months old, and he is just. He loves to be rocked like a baby. I rock him all the time. It's like a running joke in my family how I think he's actually my baby. Like, the first week I got him, well, the first couple days I got him, I was, like, disheveled. I was literally, like, a new mom. I was up every morning so early. Um, I was just, like, kind of losing it because I, you know, I went from being, like, this carefree teenager to thinking, having to think of, you know, everything that he needed. I just, I'm over, he loves paper. He loves to chew paper. I have to take it out of his mouth like 20 times a day. It's literally like a full-time job for me right now. But you know, it's good. I'm not going to Greece this summer, so I have time to really concentrate on him. And the reason why I'm not going to Greece is because my parents just opened a new business and they really need to concentrate on that. So I wasn't going to be a brat. I'd be like, I need to go to Greece. 
I don't care if you opened anything, I need to go. So um, we're going away in August to the Dominican, I think, um, somewhere in the south or in the tropical area. He's chewing the wood of the- hey, Bentley, Bentley, hey, mister. I really just love him so much and he sleeps with me. Sometimes he sleeps in the cage, but he hates the cage, so it breaks my heart really to put him in there. No biting. It really breaks my heart to put him in the cage. And he's not like a typical, well, I know puppies are hyper, but like I know I've seen some puppies and they're just like sleeping all the time. He's not a sleeping puppy. He goes outside. Um, he's a rambunctious little thing, you know? Uh, on the first day we got him, uh, I took him for a walk. I came home and I, I was sitting by the pool with him. I was taking off his harness and everything because you can't put a collar on those small dogs because it hurts their throat. And so I was taking off his harness and he jumped in the pool. He jumped in the pool and he he looks fluffy he looks really fluffy but he came out like a soaked rat and me and my mom were dying because he's like he looks like this big fluffy thing and in reality he's this like tiny little thing that's like a little sausage it's really really cute and then he also jumped off from the top because we have a couple porches and he jumped from one of the porches onto Emily. And he jumped from the top stair on one of the porches down, like, on the first day we got him. So he was a rambunctious little thing. And we have, like, these kind of, like, I want to say, like, a gate kind of, like, around the porch. And there's, like, a three-feet drop from it. And he jumped from there. And, I mean, I'm trying to get him to stop this. But if he jumps, I can't really, like, hold him back because there's, like, a, a bar, like, another thing on the bar. So it has been... A little challenging but I really don't think I treat him for anything and he's sleeping on the bed so cute another thing you guys might question me about is my new setting a lot of you know that I renovated rooms downstairs and one room is a bedroom one room is a closet and that is still happening and actually the day after we got him I moved downstairs <sighs> same day I moved back up because I don't know where you guys live but earwigs are a really big problem in Quebec or at least where I live and so I wake up in the middle of the night because I am exhausted at that point I've been up since like six with the puppy and at 10 o'clock I am like out like a light um so the puppy is sleeping with me and we're like all relaxed and the tv's on and my candles are burning and the room smells glorious and it's like all great and I open my eyes I just wake up by like some fluke and I look underneath my tv because my tv's on my wall and there's an earwig I hate earwigs. They're so, 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 so gross. I hate them. I hate bugs in general. I get they're part of the whole biosphere and like stratosphere and everything and all the earth things that I did in science, but I don't want them in my room. They're just, they're nasty and they're creepy crawly and you know, I mean, I get that they won't do anything to me. I get that I'm being a total like girl, but oh, sweetie pie, can you sit? I love you. Okay, and I get that I'm being a total girl in this sense, but I got up, I took my flip-flop off the floor, and I whacked it. And right as I'm about to get back into bed, I'm like, you know what? It's just one bug. I'm not going to cause a whole ruckus for nothing. I look above my bed. And you know how in my old room, I well, in this room, but in my old videos, I had, like, those black pillows that kind of look like a headboard? Those were on my bed still. I look above it, and there's an earwig. And I start sobbing. At this point, I hate earwigs, I hate spiders, I hate all this stuff. And I see this earwig and I'm like, holy crap, like, what is this happening? So, I run upstairs crying to my mom. And I'm like, mom, there's earwigs and I can't handle it. And she's like, you're hallucinating. She thought I was sleepwalking. It turns out I wasn't sleep. I wasn't hallucinating. And there's earwigs, like, all over the baseboards and stuff because it's in the basement, right? But my basement's nice. And... I like, there's like this earwig like problem because earwigs come from the soil and they get in through the cracks and the foundation. Anyways, um, we're getting an exterminator to come and it's like the, the daddy of all exterminator packages and they, we have to evacuate the premises for 24 hours and, um, I think we're just gonna go ho to a hotel with Bentley and then the other two dogs are gonna go to, um, like a, a hotel or something, but Bentley's gonna stay with me and, I like freaked out. I was like, I'm not sleeping there. I can't. So now I'm back in my humble adobe, the room that you guys recognize, until the extermination is done. And it's really, really nice. And I was, I'm really bummed that I couldn't be in it because like it's a, it's like totally me. And like I could, I could have started organizing my closet and everything. But 
and I'm not doing with hair wigs. I, I know that people have a lot worse and like in, in other places, but I mean, I, I, I just can't. I just, I can't. Bugs, like literally, if you want to torture me, just fill me in a chamber with bugs. Probably shouldn't have said that. Because if there's any creepers watching me, you know how to like really get under my skin. So that is why I'm in this room and in the corner and not, uh, you know, facing there with the Audrey picture. The Audrey picture is still in my room. Of course, I couldn't get rid of that. And the color is actually pretty similar. It's kind of more taupey and not as, like, purple. But it is definitely, like, a really, really nice. And my closet has hot pink walls and then a black ceiling. It was modeled after Miley Cyrus's closet, um, if you want to look that up. And there's, like, white crown moldings and everything is great except for those darn earwigs. So we're getting rid of those earwigs so I can do a room tour for you all. I almost said y'all, like I'm from the South. So I could do a room tour for y'all. And I wish I was from the South. Is that random? Like, I just wish I was from the South. I love the South. Like, and I know all of you from the South are going to be like, it's not that much. But, like, I've always wanted to move to the South. And I don't know if it's because, like, I don't know. But I've just always really wanted to move to the South. Um, I just really like the food. <laughs> to be honest and uh it's good cool since I'm upstairs back in my room we weren't bringing up the whole mattress and like the box spring and the the frame and everything so I'm sleeping on the futon mattress on my floor keeping it real oh oh who is the cute puppy who's my love sleepy are you sleepy yeah okay okay one last thing I want to show you guys, because I find this so cute. Um, my other dogs are a, Rot a Rottweiler and a Beagle, as you know, as some of you know. And they both wear Harley Davidson um, collars, because my dad like has like motorcycles and Harleys and snowmobile things. I don't know, small snowmobiles. And uh, everything like that, like four-wheelers. Like, he's really into like that kind of stuff. And so he got Harley collars for the two big dogs, Coco, Chase, Coco and Chase, and um, we went to the pet store after we picked him up and to get him some like collars and toys and stuff, and look at this, how cute is this? It's a little Harley collar with studs. I, I like died. I was like, you need this, Bentley. And so it's a little big for him right now, even on the smallest, because he has such a small neck, even though he has a lot of fur. But um, I don't really put this on him that often, just because he really doesn't like it. But, I mean, if company comes over, I mean, how cute is that? All the three dogs matching. There's a Rottweiler who's, like, 130 pounds. Coco, who is kind of an overweight beagle. And, um, Bentley, who's, like, four pounds. It's really, really cute because Bentley puts his little, little paws that are, like, this big on Chase's nose. And Chase is just so amazing with him. He's, like, so gentle and loving. And he's really, like, taken to him. So I'm really happy that everything went smoothly because I, smoothly cause I was kind of, like, concerned about that since Chase is so big. <sighs> But I am just over the moon, and I wanted to introduce him to you guys since um, a lot of you were asking me to see pictures of him. And I did post pictures, but, like, it's nice to see in video, too. So, I will pick him up one last time. So, now he's going to take a nap, and I'm going to film some more videos. But I will talk to you all soon, and, um, but I will talk to you all soon, and I hope you have a great day or night, depending on when you watch this. Bye!